One of the features I miss in Affinity is the ability to convert a selection into a path or curve. Pixelmator, on the other hand, provides this functionality and in this video we will have a look how we can use this function to do simple bitmap tracing. Let's start simple, just a black and white line art image. It's a very low resolution and if we want to enlarge this, it will get pixelated. But if we can convert it to a vector, it will stay super sharp. Now Pixelmator has some cool tricks which we can use. The idea is that we select the black areas in the bitmap image. The easiest way of doing that is using the color selection tool. From the color selection panel, we're going to select the color range function. Once we click on this, we can pick a color from the document we want to select. As we want sharp edges for the vector, make sure the smooth edges checkbox is turned off. Now let's select the black color from the document. The selected pixels are now highlighted. But if we zoom in, we can see that not all black pixels are selected. We can select these by increasing the range value. If we go too far with the range, everything will be selected. So we got to find the right sweet spot where as much of the black is selected. A value of 87 looks good. To make the selection, we need to press the apply button. Also, if I zoom out, we can see the ants marching around the artwork. Now here is the trick to convert this selection to a path. Once you have a selection in Pixelmator, you can use the Convert into Shape menu item from the Format menu. Magic! We now have a shape. One thing to keep in mind is that Pixelmator will apply the last color you have used, and in this case it was white. This is the reason why the shape I created has a white fill. To change the fill color of the shape, we can go to the Style tool while the shape is selected and apply the color or style you want. I will select the blue gradient. Pretty awesome. Let's turn off the original layer and see if we did a good job. I think we did. As I use Affinity for most of my work, I would like to get the shape or curve into Affinity. Sadly, copy and pasting a shape from Pixelmator to Affinity does not work. Affinity will paste it as an image layer instead of a curve layer. To get it into Affinity, we have to use the export tool in Pixelmator. I can go to the shape layer and from the context menu select add to export, which will open the export for web panel. Make sure SVG is selected from the drop down and press the export button. I can now save the shape as an SVG on my desktop. After the file is saved, Pixelmator will stay in the export to web panel. Let's close it by pressing cancel and switch over to Affinity. In Affinity, I can now drag and drop the exported file into the document canvas and the SVG will be imported into Affinity. If I zoom in, we can see the artwork is crispy sharp. Because it was added as an embedded document, I can double click to open it. If we switch to the node tool, we can see the nodes of the curve and if needed, they can be modified. As it is a curve or a vector image, I can really make it larger without losing quality. Pretty awesome. I hope Affinity will get this feature soon, but in the meantime, using Pixelmator is a very good alternative. Now let's look at a color clip art image we can vectorize. The process is very similar. We're going to select the colors one by one using the same method I just showed. I will speed up the video a bit, but to summarize, we select the color as good as possible, convert the selection to a shape and repeat this for all the colors. Once we have all the shapes we need, the next step is to color it, which can be super tricky in Pixelmator, especially if you're coming from Affinity. But before doing that, let me add a white background first so we can see how good our curves are. As far as I know, there is no fill layer in Pixelmator, like in Affinity, so we have to create our own fill layer 
by adding a layer and then using the flat fill with a white color, which at the end results in a white fill layer. Everything looks good, now time to color the shape layers. Let's start with the easy one, the outline which was black. I can select the layer, then open up the style panel and change the fill to color and set the color to black. Nice, we got the black outline back. Time for the other shapes. I want to sample their colors from the original, so let me hide the layers we created. Here is a quick tip. Just click and hold the mouse over the layer checkbox and drag over the layers. This way you can quickly hide or show layers. Let's enable the original image as we need the colors from there. If I go to a shape I want to color, we encounter a problem here. Because the shape is not visible or deactivated, the style panel is not available for it. The fix is pretty easy. Let me enable the shape and put its opacity to zero. This way the shape is fully transparent and we can now select the color from the original beneath. Easy peasy. Sometimes you have to be creative with these creative apps. Let's quickly do it for the other two layers. I will enable them, select both of them and change the opacity. And for each shape select the correct color. Let's turn off the original and as you might have guessed we get an empty canvas as all the shapes have an opacity of zero. Let me select them and update the opacity to 100% so all is visible again. Before exporting it as an SVG let's group them by selecting the layers and use the group menu item from the right click menu. Once we have our group I can use the add for export option just like with the first example and export it as an SVG to my desktop. Time for affinity again. I can now drag and drop the document I'm working on. Let me also quickly position it in the document canvas. Before wrapping up this video let's have a closer look at the imported file. As you might see there are some gaps which look annoying and this is due to the fact that I did not make a good selection. I can open up the embedded document and then add the stroke to the curves in the same color as the fill color of the curves. This will make sure that the curves overlap each other nicely without any gaps. Looks much better. Well, I hope you liked this video. Sometimes Affinity needs a little bit of help from Pixelmator and hopefully you got a better understanding how they can be used together with each other. Thank you for watching and until the next time.